I'm hiring interns for the summer, but interviewing is not my best skill. Honestly, I'm nervous. What do I need to know about these potential team members and how do I interview them effectively? Yeah, it, it's funny. I was actually just uh, hiring for interns too, and uh, you know, you're interviewing people who don't have a lot of skill sets. So traditionally, when I'm when I'm hiring people, I'm always very interested in knowing what their previous position was like. What was the day like? What type of responsibilities did they have? And you can just kind of get a, get a little bit of sense of of what you're asking the person to do. Does that translate well or, or correlate well with what they've done before? Um, for hiring interns is different because you know potentially the experience was you know a lifeguard or something like that that doesn't really translate well to to the corporate world, and so I think that you you're really getting a sense of the person on the phone uh, or in person on the on the communication skills, uh, really just seeing if if you think that they're mature enough to to you know succeed and add value in in the program and we've had interns here which uh, programs that probably didn't work out well uh, weren't 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 incredibly uh, well planned out and, and uh, you know, the interns maybe didn't even enjoy the process versus other internship programs we've had where I think the, you know, we kind of made sure that there's a program was in place and that uh, the goals were clear and uh, well communicated. And so, you know, you're, you're, there's a ton of interns out there. There's a, there's a ton of, uh, of people obviously looking for, for summer internships. And I think you need to be very selective. And, but the biggest thing I would say is you're, you're looking for people that you think can communicate probably really well with your team, fit into your, your culture, uh, mature enough to do so. And then hopefully, you know, they're able to add value because you don't want people, um, regardless of level, uh, in the organization who are, um, you know, not adding, uh, to, to the, to the overall company culture. And so for example, for, for this year, we've set up a, a summer program, which is very focused around a certain goal. And, and it's kind of a fun experience for the interns where uh, we know what the goal is that we want to achieve and we have some ideas for how to get there, but we're not totally sure the best way to, to get there. And so through a lot of trial and error, the interns are, are kind of working down this path to hopefully what the end of the summer uh, will accomplish the goal and actually it will turn into a potentially a full-time uh, position. So uh, inter internships, I think it's, it's all often attractive to get, you know, what's relatively cheap uh, labor and additional kind of, you know, manpower. But uh, I think you really have to be cognizant of, of the time that you can put into it and the type of people that you're always adding to the organization.